Good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Monday. It's the first day of the work week again. <laughs> uh, I didn't do a video yesterday, but I did do a couple little things. We had some rain. Uh, you can probably see how this is kind of rich red looking, this mahogany, uh, the mulch inside, and that's because it's all wet from yesterday's rain. But I did get a little bit of work done. Remember, I was supposed to go into Alabang and I'm supposed to do some furniture shopping and building material shopping. But I decided to be a little lazy. I did a half, half, half lazy, half working on a few projects in between laziness periods yesterday. So you can see yesterday, I got the top rail for the last pieces, one, two, three, the three pieces right here. Uh, this was full of water yesterday, so it made it kind of, it made it kind of unusually wet inside there for me to work in that specific period. Uh, but I got a little bit done and I'm gonna work a little bit more on that today. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up you. Oh, you can hear that the generator is running because we are in that every three day stage of doing the bottle elect upgrade down on the main street. So we're on a 12 hour brownout today. So expect that over the next mm, month and a half, two months. I don't know how far, it goes out pretty far. So we won't, we won't run the generator full time on every brownout, but we'll be running it on brownout days where we have construction going on and they need electricity for the tile saw and for the grinder and for things like that. On other days, what we'll probably do, we'll probably cycle it. So we don't use so much diesel fuel and give the generator a little bit of a break because uh, we are going to have many of those. Well, I will show you some of the things that I did and what I'm doing right now after we start today's video. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Well, let's start out with what I did yesterday. I did manage to work a little bit on the raised bed garden fence, but as you can see, everything is still kind of wet here because we got a lot of rain yesterday. Well, I won't say a lot of rain. I'll say in the latter half of the day, uh, we got uh, enough rain to do a good drenching of the grass and the garden back here. Uh, the garden is in preparation for having some vegetables planted here in the very near future. Well, yesterday what I did manage to accomplish back here in between some rain is I was able to get these top rails, the top rails of the final section of the fence that needs to be done for the raised bed garden. Uh, I tried to start working on the bottom pieces, but the rain came. This area inside the manhole cover was filling up with water and it was really uncomfortable to work back here. Uh, what I'm going to do, when we get rain later on, this concrete hole right here, I'm removing that because it's too heavy for me to open and access the cistern. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a manhole uh, cover made out of this composite wood that also allows for the moisture so when this fills up with water, the water will go down in the cistern, but there'll be a screen inside there so it won't collect any leaves and debris inside there as well. But it will be easy for me to access when I need to look down inside the cistern or to do any type of maintenance. Uh, so this is what was done yesterday. I will continue, I hope, to work on this today. I'll show you what I started working on this morning up on the second floor. Now, as you can see this morning, what I've been working on is putting that last piece of tile on the bottom of the, of the bench seat inside the shower. And what I decided to do, I decided to match it up with this existing tile inside. I had a couple options. I had four pieces of this decorative tile left over, which is just the right height to do the fill in there. And I put it up there and I looked at it and I'm like, ah, it's just a little too much of the of the detailed decoration inside there and so what i did was i went ahead and used the same uh, tile that we did the wall and it kind of surrounds it and looks good i'll show you what it looks like close up so 
So I'll let that tile adhesive uh, cure, harden. I'll clean it up a little bit later on. I tell you, those clamps, remember those clamps we picked up at uh, CW Home Depot up in Alabama? Those clamps, I've used them in so many projects. Those are wor worth their weight in gold. Uh, so we'll let that cure, we'll clean it. Then I have a couple of pieces of grout I need to do in the corners, and then that portion will be done. And to be honest with you, uh, except for the fact that we still need to put the glass in here and the pieces of granite that cover up the glass, that sandwich in the glass between the granite, this area is almost complete. I can test this out. I've already waterproofed everything inside here, so probably tomorrow, uh, or the next day, probably Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll do a functional check to make sure all the plumbing is working right inside here for the overhead shower, for the wand, and that we have correct water flow going down into our drain. Now, one final thing I need to do with the bathtub this morning is I need to do the final leveling of it. You see, I have the level here. It's kind of jacked up right now so I can get underneath it. Now, leveling this type of bathtub, it just requires you do adjustment of the legs up underneath the bathtub. It's very similar if you've done adjustments of your refrigerator to do levelness, you just adjust it back and forth. But this one has a locking nut on it. The locking nut is at the top of the foot. You have to loosen it, do your adjustment, verify that you have levelness, and then you lock it back down again. So that's what I'm going to do this morning so we can close out the bathtub. Final leveling is good on both positions. Now I'm going to do a final test, and the final test is to put water inside, let it drain properly, and make sure that the, the fitting that goes down inside the drain didn't slip out during this entire uh, leveling procedure. And then after that, if no water flows out from underneath it, we don't have any problem with leaks, then I will do grout around the base. Now you don't have to do grout around the base if you don't want to. Uh, but the thing is, if, even if you have the tiniest gap inside there, it leaves a place for things like critters, uh, bugs and things like that to get up underneath your bathtub. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grout around it. That's quite a mess, but I made some progress today. It's raining outside. I got caught in between some of the rain inside and out. So I didn't, I wasn't able to complete the raised bed fence, but I did get some done. So we'll walk out there. Well, it's still kind of drizzling. It's just light rain right now. Uh, but I want to show you what's done and how much we have left on that project. Oh, by the way, I have one shout out for today. Uh, and the one shout out is, it goes to Michael Miner. Michael Miner is turning a young 71 today. So anyway, to you, Michael, I want to wish you a happy birthday. So two of the panels I got installed today. This one in the front and this one on the side. The only one I have is a very small one, which is this one right here. But it's, it's the same kind of level of effort because I still have to cut out the, the two supports on the bottom, the two supports on the top, and the, and the side diagonals. Uh, but I only have to do just a few of them. So it'll save me a few minutes. But tomorrow, if the weather is okay out here and no other project comes up, I'm going to finish this. And what we'll do after that gets done, 
we'll continue filling the the raised bed garden with the topsoil and the we'll put some of the compost mixture inside there in preparation and pretty soon we're going to go down to one of the nurseries and we're going to pick up some planters some seedlings and we're going to put some vegetables inside the garden we're going to do some ourselves from seeds ness is bringing over either she's bringing over or she's sending over or she ordered some i don't know uh, somehow i'm going to have some seeds over here and we're going to plant some from seed we'll put it in little pots then we'll get them started and we'll put it inside the garden here as well let's go uh outside the fence line and see what it looks like the guys that did the stone cladding let's see how much they got done today now i really can't tell from day to day anymore where we are on this project i don't know what was done yesterday and what was done today. I kind of just let these guys uh, work on their own and, and just hope for the best that we get this done as soon as possible. I think most of the work was done on the inside. I, we were just on the inside. I don't know why I didn't look while we are on the inside. We'll go back on the inside in just a moment. Uh, but it's looking like this post, this corner post on the very corner of the lot. Yeah, I, I, th I think it's done. Uh, and the outside of this, except for some of the detailing. Now this detailing got done, this was done around the light here, but the other ones don't seem to be done here. And that's what uh, the younger of the two Tylers are working, that's, he does all the little detailing. Uh, I don't know what he worked on today. So uh, let, let's go back inside and take a look. I think on the inside is where most of the focus was on these posts. Now, I think a lot of the focus of the tiling was on the inside of the fence today. I think it was this one here, this one here, and some back here in the back. I'm really not sure. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of lost from day to day what's getting done back here. As you can hear, the generator's still on. Uh, the, I don't expect power to come back on until about, probably since we're getting a little bit of rain, I have a feeling some of the utility crews will try to go off a little bit early. Every time it rains, it's like a quarter till six, not quite at six o'clock when the electricity comes back on again. Let's go upstairs and I'll show you what I uh, took care of inside the second floor bath comfort room. Now this is one of the items I worked on today. Remember, I did the leveling of this. So we are perfectly level. I didn't get a chance to do any grouting underneath the bottom yet, uh, but there's no hurry on that because I still have to do grouting over here, which is the other thing I worked on today. I put the tile in uh, for the, the base of the corner bench. Uh, and I can actually take this off now. It's been sitting here all day long. So looks just like this right here. Now, I'm glad I went with this tile all the way around for the trim on here instead of the, the decorative trim up there. I think this looks much better and it blends very well. Uh, tomorrow probably I will do the grouting on that. Uh, possibly do the grouting here and the grouting around the base of the lavatory. Other than that, I'm not sure that there's much more that I can do inside of here until we get our glass. But I can do a functional check of the shower and the handheld wand. Uh, make sure we have good flow of water also to the drain back there. I also need to do the threshold here. I do not have enough black, black uh, granite to do this threshold here. So I have to make a decision if I want to use another type of remnant that I have, a different type of tile, a different type of threshold. I'll worry about that tomorrow. Well, it feels like the rain has stopped and it is such a pleasant temperature here right now. I've been sweating all day long working on things in the backyard and uh, inside the house and I think I'm going to enjoy tonight with this nice cool weather. It's like this all the time after, after a big rain, uh, when we get the rain just before the sun goes down. This is great and it's great for the grass. You see the grass back here. The grass everywhere is starting to become uniformly green uh, after several of the cuttings to get it down to that level two on the lawnmower. Uh, it seems like everything is coming at nice and thick at that right level. I'm really happy with that as well. Also, one of the tilers asked me today about getting the concrete hollow block for the other planter back here. You see the one in the corner there. Well, we're going to take off. We're going to cut it down one 
one size of the concrete hollow block because it's too tall. Uh, they're going to do a plaster coat on the inside. They're going to do the pebble rock for the top ledge on there. So I have to get some plywood for the formwork for the pebble rock. Uh, I have to get some concrete hollow blocks. I think I counted probably around 45 for this one back over here. And then we will get the, the two planters done. And then after the planters are done, the next thing is working on the steps back here. Uh, grass hollow blocks for each one of the steps with a non-slip uh, edge on each one of them and some type of a Spanish or a Mediterranean, uh, that type of a decorative tile that's gonna go around on the front. Now I have the tiles. What I did was I bought a box, I bought a whole box anticipating that they were gonna keep it in stock and I think, oh, I can't remember. I think I got it at Wilcon, but I haven't seen it back there anymore unless it's in one of the other Wilcons uh, up north, maybe in Alabang or Santa Rosa. I'll look the next time I go up there, I'll bring one of my samples with me. Uh, but it's a beautiful tile, and that's what I would like to put in there for the rise. Well, anyway, I'm going to close for today. Uh, it wasn't a real big day on construction, but it was a steady day on construction. And any day where you move forward in progress and don't take a couple of steps back is a good day. I love that look on his face. I love when he crosses his legs like that. Well, anyway, I'm going to close for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed day.